over three hours, and I'm still going. I'm really enjoying my time playing this game. Uh, see, I want to level up faster. I'm constant firing the boss. Is that just... Nah. It's not good enough. Go ahead and blend some keys, man. We're gonna have to buy some later since we used six of them, but whatever. Let's fight. And of course, I can make the monsters even stronger. Let's not do that. Rena Bowman growls as you walk towards it. Go ahead and get that heal out of the way. <laughs> no chance. Wipe the floor with them. Love it. Uh, more armor for me, please. Let's go. Arena Claw Guard, who's fast and vampiric. He's got a lot of health on him. Chrono Capture. Snapshot it. State save. Bring down the Reckoning. Multi-shot. Reposition out. Reposition out. Gotcha. Okay. There we go. That fixed the health problem. My Guardian's fully charged again. I'll worry about it if I need to use him. But it doesn't look like the Arena Claw Guard deals a whole lot of damage to me. Of course, I think I missed an opportunity to grapple his ass, and uh, I've just been trampled, so... There is that. Now I'm exposed. I think I need to read more. I'm a little arrogant here. So arrogant. All of the arrogance. Arena Brute growls as you walk towards it. You break mantras and barriers. Alright. I'm gonna use my uh, ultimate against you. Gotta have some fun in life. Focus. That will my combo count. Preparing to charge. Reposition, focus as well. 18. Yeah. I think I was surprised by how high my combo count was at one point, and it was because I focused my powers. Gotta remember that. Let's go ahead and do it now. Beautiful. Now I'll keep the Guardian on the side. I could have used him and then used the ultimate, would have recharged him up a bit, but I didn't. I'm sure you noticed. Oh no, I'm exposed! Don't do that! You'll see me kicking your ass! Thank you. Rakum, I thank you. <laughs> Doing alright for ourselves. Level 28. Still got some more to go, though. Oh, hey! Event! Uh reach for it. Yay! <laughs> Patrons. Oh, wow. Incredibly cheap compared to the amount of money you get. I'm into it. I can, I can loop back to 1 if I keep going with X, but I can't loop back to 5 if I keep going with Z. Yep. Also, no. I haven't gotten any uh, item upgrades in a while. Nothing in the shared stash now, so this character guy dies, everything goes tits up. Well, we might as well get to work here. It's been a bit since we've used Epic Crafting Simulator. <laughs> oh wow, that durability's pretty high now. I like it. it. Means I can do more. I think I've done too much. <laughs> I wonder if 
uh, 56. I still had plenty of durability there. No! Don't need intelligence. Not Alfred Dezak. Getting some, uh, pretty shoddy heat rolls there. Okay. We'll just finish out the item. Heat durability. It's gotta get much closer. No! Okay. Grim's been working on the get fucked. All the live long day. Just finish the item. Now. I felt armor. Warning. Enjoy the music here some more. Lay back and relax. alloy. Took a long time to get to this part, but it's so cool. Think of it. Let me open up the uh, game folder I have here. Okay, there's an audio section. Cool. A lot of sound effects. Which means I could play this crafting track. There it is! Alright have that on my side. Oh my god! I can't stop! It's such a fucking jaunty tune! Break it down! The hypest music! <laughs> Grooving too much in my chair here. Go, 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 go. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh... Boost that vitality, gain strength, get it some extra defense. Sure. I will concede that vitality. Lost, what, 7-8% extra health? It's a change. Still blown away by my ability to make diamonds out of scrap metal. <laughs> Seems like that could have been better. Well, it helped me level up. It was more fun. It's epic music action! Oh my goodness, skill 50 now! Let's make some more charms. <laughs> This shit a bit much.
fucking shit. <laughs> durability left over. Redeeming. I think that does magic. It does. Man of shit. Eh. Uh, uh, intelligence and wisdom. No, not really the ones I care about. If that was dex and vitality, I'd probably make the trade. Finish the rest of the item. That was pretty far away. There we go. Ease it. <sighs> Marveling, huh? If my hit points are less than 25%, my attack is doubled. It's not worth losing all that dex. I don't think so, anyway. So I didn't do it. quality on this one. I like it. Bonus defense roll for greater. Um. Uh-huh. One point of strength. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go ahead and put that on. Look at all of this armor I have. Look at it! Well, I don't know about my armor theory anymore. Palladium ore! It's ultra rare! <laughs> Let's go ahead and do something with this other soul shard I have. See if I can make something happen out of it. Abusing that so much. That'll be fine. 156. Now, this. I think Osmox only failed one item. And Alfred Dazak only failed one item as well. Poor Dirtle didn't even get to make it to the stage. He died to the first non tutorial enemy I faced. <laughs> Surprised. Armor is pretty tasty. Now oh, I got a silver key. I have used plenty of those. As of late. Okay. I love how I did belittle the whole like crafting thing for silver key, and then suddenly it's all like, oh, you know, you need all these silver keys. I'm like, oh, well then. How about that? Warfare slaying 15 enemies. Good thing I picked that up. Go ahead and assign my mastery point. Continue to be a master. Yeah! Attack is 301 to 503. Yeah! 59% critical chance, 48% evasion. I like it. Wisdom of one. I don't regenerate <laughs> any health or mana per turn. We'll get over it. Level 29, huh? Why don't we warm up some weak enemies? Empowered Windrider has slashed you. And I start off exposed. See if I can tank it. I'm down to uh, my 2300 health, right? Let's go ahead and do that. You dare to guard in front of my face. Look at you! 
You mean nothing to me. Nothing. Could actually probably experiment in making these enemies harder if I'm gonna go into an earlier area, sure. Of course I lose that 5% experience point bonus I had, but we'll try that out. 35% gold and experience. Well, let's go ahead and give it a whirl and hopefully I don't die. The dark tunnel. Didn't see anything about Ben and Mages, suddenly you're ensnared. Caught it. Well, how about that? Bastard. Alright. We had fun there. Wasn't that fun? I think so. Huge critical hit there that I had. Go ahead and heal up. So I get too arrogant here. Not too arrogant. Just ever get enough. He's enraged. Makes sense. He's kind of pissed. He's charging me and he trampled me. Also makes sense. Well, we win. Nice. Fucking skeleton. How dare you. Yeah. You have unlocked two new abilities, Mana Embrace and Mana Expunge. Whether you're hugging or vomiting mana, it'll make your enemies weep. Okay. I still need to change that, uh, skill thing, and I guess I'm willing enough to go through the portal, maybe? Dark Tunnel one more time. Hey! Maybe one other time after that. Quest! Rubbish! Alright. Uh, like I said, one more time. Imposing champion. He causes my heals to diminish. I've been taken by surprise! Swap my skill set here. Sacrifice. I see. What kind of fucking health I'd be losing? Definitely not be willing to lose that without knowing how much damage this guy can do. Definitely man expunge though. Critical expunging. And it sets me up to this early skill set, so I'd have to swap again. Hmm. Interesting. Preparing to charge. Go ahead and get rid of that. Not interested in your charging X. Mana expunge. I can get behind that. I do like that ability. Ah, ah, that's a kill me like reckoning or sacrifice, but. And I chose. I chose reckoning. It's true, I did. You know, that has been a little helpful at some point, maybe. <laughs> Preparing to charge, huh? Don't do that. Get rid of that problem. Rid of that problem again. Oh, it's beautiful. Especially since I can critically hit with that, too. Oh, that's delicious. Let's go ahead and set the enemies back now. Where they belong. In the gutter. <laughs> Glowing portal. Level 30. Hopefully that's good enough. You jump into the glowing portal that forms in the middle of the room. Before you get the chance to lament upon your poor life choices, you are pulled forward in time and space. Welcome to my lair. The mysterious voice emanating from the darkness startles you. You draw your weapon. I will give what you seek.
Divination Meter. This boss's meter will increase every time you heal. If you cast your ultimate, the meter will deplete. If the meter is filled, the boss will heal for a large amount. I wonder how my guardian factors into that. I may no longer be immortal, but I can still kill you. I wonder how much you get to heal for. I really like the music for this shit, too. Focus, Griffin. Focus. Let's go ahead and get some rid of some of that mana. It was holding me back anyway. Look at how fast I recharge that shit, too. Oof. Look at you cutting the legs out from under me. I like it. Alright, you're guarding? Don't do that. It's cheating. Swamp skill set? I really do like the music for this. Someone out there is like, Fucking shut up and let me listen to it! How about you download this three free game yourself by the power of the matron be healed? You fully healed yourself, huh? Huh. I didn't heal myself at all. Maybe any sort of heal effect? I don't know. Oh. Play with me, I guess. We'll make it work. Power the matron. Fuck your matron. Fuck her right in the dick. <laughs> Alright, you're being way too playful right now, Grimoth. Don't you know there's a war to win here? Apparently not. Uh, swap skill set. I wasn't even fully recharged, recharged on that, but I'm making it work here. Okay. I don't think so. Swap skill set? Oof. Got me there. We're making it work, though. Go me. Ooh. Trampled. Uh-oh. Gonna go ahead and use that heal there. Alright, she's one up on the meter. I do still have my- I should have used my ultimate before I healed. I had so many attacks that I'd strung together. Power of the Matron, you shall be cursed! I said an ongoing curse? Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that, huh? That's rude. Now I'm not gonna be able to do anything with my ultimate now. Well, might as well snap a picture of this. Okay. Uh... Okay, I got trampled. Okay. Pay attention, Grimoth. Activate barrier. Reposition. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal. Oh. That could have been bad. She's close to that full heal. This basically prevents you from resetting her gauge. Didn't get my chance to use my uh, ultimate on you, but... Oh, close. We'll finish you all fancy-like. I made a hand gesture and everything. It's what I was doing with Alfred Dayzak with my awesome spells. I really haven't done this much with the Ranger. But that one definitely deserved it. The boo pockets on my armor. So impractical. <laughs> no! Not the big no. Full of Narm. You sigh and turn around, leaving the creature to thrash around at its death throes. 
The entire room is bathed in the brilliant white light. You never hear the explosion coming. Huh? The Fallen has been defeated. Seek refuge in the cold city of Galdora. Take down the Keeper of Souls. You have obtained three soul shards, motherfucker! But the sands of time are slowly swelling beneath your feet. Seek their wisdom. Listen to them. Hear their cries. Let them guide you to your ashes. What? Use them wisely. You have unlocked a heal perk. This can only be used once per battle. If enemy is marked, consume mark and restore hit points by 100%. If enemy is bleeding, double enemy bleed stacks. If your health is below 50%, restore magic by... Dumb. I'm all about necromancy. Let's innervation. I trust. I trust that you made the right decision. You have destroyed the fallen. The the fallen. <laughs> Good job. Act 1. Complete. The campfire burns bright and warm. You and the blacksmith stand in opposition, with the comforting flame dancing between you. You're a nosy one, aren't you? The blacksmith looks deep into the campfire, the flickering spirits reflecting off his somber eyes. I suppose we've been traveling long enough, and we're gonna keep going until the matron is dead, or, or you, preferably the matron. The blacksmith takes in a deep breath and sighs. <sighs> Have I told you about my family adventure? The blacksmith begins speaking, his words at first a trickle, and then a downpour, filling your mind with a world from the past. Have you ever been to Silverport? It is, was, a beautiful place. Brotherhood naval ships would sail into port daily. You should have seen how their cannons glinted against the morning sun. Your mind fills with the hustle and bustle of a busy town port. The sun's early rays cast themselves over the bay. The Brotherhood presence made me made people feel safe. Merchants from all over flocked to the bazaar, st stall after stall, vendors as far as the eye could see. If ever there were a city of life and prosperity, Silverport was it. The blacksmith is hard at work taking hammer to anvil. The glow of the forge and the bright flashes of sparks fills the shop. I move there as a young blacksmith to make a name for myself. A young woman enters the shop. Her eyes light up at the sight of the blacksmith. She leans against the dorm frame and smiles. Instead, I found a wife and family. The sun sets over the rooftops of Silverport. All is tranquil. The naval fleet is docked. The market stalls are closing. Only a few people shuffle about in the streets. I was happy for a long time. Until the attack. One of the buildings near port catches on fire. Then another. Then another. We were safe, sure. The fleet protected an attack from sea, and our walls protected us from a frontal assault. Chaos abounds. Mount monsters and demons flood the streets, surging and engulfing all life in their path. But they came from the depths of the earth, attacked us from the sewers. The young blacksmith rushes to the front of his shop, burning the brie bars as entrance. In the sewers, in the streets, excuse me, monsters gut men like fish and drag the women deep into the sewers. What could I do? I was just a blacksmith. Fire consumes the town of Silverport and reaches its way to the boats in the harbor. One by one, the Brotherhood's fleet drops below the waters of the bay. I'd like to say that I resisted that I took up arms and defended my home as best I could. But I didn't. I ran. My family, they never had a chance. 
the blacksmith's silence brings you back into the present. He stares into the fire, his eyes wet and lost within his own memories. The matron is evil. I didn't need to lose my family to know that. But now, you know. The blacksmith takes in a deep breath and holds it. His exhale seems to take with him the weight of his past. I just thought you should know. Before we get to you, familiar figure, that sounds like a great spot to end this video and the session. Well, let's see. I uploaded all the Alfred Dayzak stuff already, and made the final video public. I have come much further than the Reaper. <laughs> Is this fun or what? Ah! It doesn't cost anything! At least not money. There's time, bandwidth, opportunity, but not shekels. What an enjoyable game. See you all later.